Hey there, what's up? It's Mike D with yet another quick lick for you from superguitarlicks.com. Today we're going to be learning quick lick number 16, and this one's going to be uh, played against the backing track called Spanish Groove. Let me go ahead and play it for you, and I'll teach it to you. Very cool. So this one's got that Spanish flavor to it. Of course, the backing track called Spanish Groove, uh, which if you're not on SuperGuitarLicks.com right now, you can go there and get access to it and jam along to it for free. So this uh, groove is actually in the key of B minor. The tempo is at 110, and it's our typical uh, Spanish chord progression that goes from B minor, A major, G major to F sharp major. So the good old. So uh, we're in B minor on this one, and we're going to use our B minor pentatonic uh, scale, although this lick focuses a little bit more on the full minor scale. But what we're actually going to do is come out of the regular um, boxy pattern and move way up to the 14th fret. Um, so what we're going to do is let's take a look at it, and I'll break it down for you. So we start off with our first finger on 14. And also, even though you could do this lick anywhere in the chord progression, where it sounds best is when the chords start moving down. Um, the chord progression initially goes from B minor to G major to A major to F sharp major. It does that three times, I think, and then it does the chord progression that goes B, A, B, F sharp. This lick sounds great over that moving down chord progression, but um, you can do it anywhere. So, let's start it off. We are on the 14th fret on the E string. And that's what we're going to start off with. So, we're going to play the 14, we're going to um, play the 15, and we're going to pull back off to the 14. Remember when you do pull-offs to snap your finger off to get good volume. So it goes 14, 15, 14, and then it does the same thing, only you use your pinky on the 17th fret. Okay, so we go 14, 17, pull off back to 14. So we got, and then we go back to 15. So because we're using a lot of pull offs, there's not a lot of coordination that you need to worry about, so it makes it easier. And like always, I always use alternate picking whenever possible. So I'm going down pick, up pick, down pick, up pick. All right. Now, to finish it off, I go to 15 on the B string, and then back to 14. All right. So the, the actual lick ends on the 15 on the B string, or at least the loop that we're going to do for a few times. And then once we get back to 14 on the E string, it all loops again and starts over. All right, now we do that three times, and the fourth time, what I do to end it off is go to the 17th or 15th fret on the B string, and I do a pull off to the open B string, and that works for this because we're in the key of B minor. So it's a big, uh, a big interval gap. But so all I do is play 15 on the B string. I pull off to the open note, and I play the 15 again and slide up to 17. Hit 15, then hit it again, and then hit and slide. And that's where the lick kind of ends. So. Okay, so there you go. Really a pretty simple lick. Uh, you know, we're at steady 16th notes on this one. So just take it slow, work your way up, and uh, it's really not that hard to play up tempo, which is cool. It's a pretty fun melodic lick. Going. But again, look at your key signature uh, if you're going to use this lick on another jam um, and just know how to associate it all. Um, so we're up here um, on the 14th fret, but if you're going to associate it with your regular pentatonic pattern, you know, you'll go to the bottom note of your scale. So if I was in B minor, you know, we're right there. Then 
we're going to go up a whole step and another whole step. So you go up two whole steps from the last note in your pentatonic scale. I'm not going to get all into the modal side of this and all the other scales that we use just to keep it simple. But if you want to use it in another jam, in another key, go to the last note of your pentatonic scale in your pattern, go up two full steps, and that's where you start the lift. All right, here it is one more time against the music. you want from there. All right, so there you go. There's lick number 16. Have fun. Be sure to share this video with all your friends. Um, send in questions, info at superguitarlicks.com, and uh, be sure to check out Super Guitar Licks for more backing tracks, free guitar lessons, and a whole bunch more. Later.